Osteogenesis imperfecta is a genetic disorder in which children are born with more fragile bones than others. It is commonly referred to as OI, or brittle bone disease. Affected people generally experience numerous fractures, muscle weakness, hearing loss, fatigue, curved bones, feeble joints, scoliosis, and short stature. Other diseases linked to OI include blue solera, restrictive pulmonary disease, and dentinogenesis imperfecta, which is more commonly known as brittle tooth disease. Osteogenesis imperfecta is caused by a mutation in the type 1 collagen, a group of naturally occurring proteins that help cultivate bone structure. OI is an autosomal dominant disorder, but it can also be obtained through sporadic means. In most cases, people will inherit the disorder from a parent. Fifty percent of people affected with osteogenesis imperfecta have OI type 1, the mildest form of the disease. Most symptoms are mild in OI type 1. Delayed gross motor development is also common in this form of OI. OI type 2 is the most detrimental case amongst infants. Infants are born with a low birth weight, with their legs in a frog-like position, scoliosis, and undeveloped lungs. Most newborns have a life expectancy of a few weeks. OI type 3 is the most severe form of OI for youths who survived infancy. Their heads are often larger compared to their bodies and are often riddled with long bone and rib fractures. All OI symptoms are present in this type including blue solera and dentinogenesis imperfecta. Osteogenesis imperfecta types 4 through 7 are moderate in severity. People within this range of OI have few to many fractures, moderate to severe growth retardation, short stature, and scoliosis. OI type 8 includes all of the symptoms in OI types 2 and 3, excluding blue solera. Unfortunately, there was no certain cure for osteogenesis imperfecta, but a wide variety of treatments are being studied and implemented on patients retaining the disorder. Effective treatments focus on minimizing fractures, maximizing mobility and independent function, along with general health. Treatments include physical therapy and safe exercises like swimming, casts, splints, or wraps to treat broken bones, braces to support legs, ankles, knees, and wrists as needed, orthopedic surgery, often including implanting rods to support the long bones in arms or legs, medication to strengthen the bones, mobility aids such as canes, walkers, or wheelchairs and other equipment or aids for independence. As for treatments being studied, there is potential being found in growth hormones, increased vitamin D intake to avoid soft bones, and foster bone health, physical activity, and gene therapy. Imagine if you were forced to live with brittle bones and other severe life-threatening factors. Imagine if you had to live your life in fear, wondering if you would live to see another day. Around the world, hundreds of thousands of children are suffering from the devastating effects of osteogenesis imperfecta. Thousands of these children will never experience the joys of life past infancy. Even those who are fortunate enough to live will have to face the pains and hardships that come with such a dreadful disorder. Although, there is something you can do. The smallest actions can make the biggest changes. Please visit the URL below for more information. And please take the time to call the clinic to find out what you can do to make a difference. If all the kind hearts in the world work together, you can commence a revolution to fight and cure osteogenesis imperfecta. People around the world need our assistance, and it's up to us to make a change. Heal the world and make the world a better place 
one step at a time.